homemade laundry soap. I'm sure you know there are a lot of recipes out there on YouTube and mine is probably the same as most of them but I thought I would share with you how I make it. First thing you want to do is get a five gallon bucket and fill it three fourths full of hot water. I did all this ahead of time so I could save on the video time. Then you want to take one bar of Zoat soap. You can buy at Walmart for 97 cents and there's many other places. Family Dollar has them also. You can get it in white and pink. For some reason I seem to like the pink better. It has a nice fragrance. You want to shred this bar of soap up using a cheese shredder. Once it is shredded up, you want to put it in a kettle with about a gallon of water and you want to heat it to boiling until all the soap is dissolved. And yes, I have a redneck stick. This is what I use to stir my soap. It is already dissolved, so what I'm going to do is you pour it into your five gallon bucket that is three fourths full of hot warm water. And that should make it almost totally full. You want to give it a little stir. To that I add one cup of super washing soda. One full cup. Put this in your five gallon bucket and give it a stir. And the next thing I use is borax. I use one cup of borax. I still have some borax on hand, so I'm going to continue using it. But once I run out of borax, I'm not going to buy it anymore. I think the soap works just as well without it. And that's just one additive and one expense you really don't need to have. So, But for today, I'm going to use it because I still have some left. You want to use one cup of the borax. And you're going to keep stirring. And then your soap is ready to go unless you want to add some essential oils. I have really got to liking the eucalyptus oil. So I'm going to put about one to two ounces of that in. It's just when you line dry your clothing, it gives off a really good scent. And it just is a really clean smell. So we're just going to add one to two ounces, which is probably about a tablespoon. You can't go wrong um, if you just use, you know, like one or two tablespoons. It's really strong stuff, but it really works well. So you're going to stir this. Then what you're going to do is, the first day you make this, once every one or two hours, you want to take your big spoon or a stick if you're like Tessie, and you're going to give it a stir. And then later on that night, what you're going to do is you're going to put a nail on it, and you're not going to touch it overnight. By the next morning, it should be congealed enough that when you stir it, it will become a soap uh, consistency. Now, what a lot of the YouTubers are doing is they say that this is concentrated and then they add another five gallon of water to it. I don't like that because it seems awful watery for me and it doesn't seem to work very well. So I use this straight as it is. And then I will use one fourth cup of this per large load. So that's what that's that's what I've been doing. Um, you can try it and adding another five gallons of water to it, but I just don't like that. It just seems awful thin. And also the dry um, ingredients are out there too to make dry. I just don't like that either because the dry when you wash your laundry by hand and you use only cold water, the, it doesn't dissolve. And to have to go and boil that in water first seems to be like a lot of extra steps in laundry when I already have so many steps to do. So I will always use the liquid from now on. I don't like, I don't like the powder. You also can buy a small container of fabric softener if you would like, and you can add that to this soap. So the soap then would already have the fabric softener. 
I don't do that because my fabric softener is white vinegar with a little bit of eucalyptus oil or a little bit of any other kind of essential oils too. But generally I find that I really don't need fabric softener because when I line dry my clothes, I have a nice gentle breeze back where I live, so it seems to dry really nice and fluffy, so I don't really seem to mind that. Well, this was just a really short video on how I make my laundry soap, and I hope you noticed something today. I have my new camera, and I want to thank all of you who stuck by me with me for the last 11 days watching on my very old camera that the sound and the voice didn't go together very well. I hope I didn't lose too many subscribers over all that. But it's a new to me camera and I'm really happy. And you should have a lot better viewing content now. And I can't wait to sh show some more videos with you. Alright, take care and see you tomorrow. Bye!